Well, Yuki and Jessica, just a day after that law went into effect, many customers already feeling the impact. Take a look at this vending machine now. They've already posted a sign that says the Philly beverage tax isn't in effect, and as a result, they've had to increase the prices. Sodas in this machine used to cost a dollar fifty a bottle. Now it's been increased to two dollars, and this is not sitting so sweetly with many customers. New Year new tax. I think it's ridiculous. Philadelphia is the first major U.S. city to pass the controversial sugary drink tax, which went into effect January 1st. I'm going to buy it anyway. It's a Pepsi. That means you'll see an additional tax of 1.5 cents per ounce on most drinks with sugar or an artificial sweetener, such as Coca-Cola, Gatorade, and iced tea. A lot of people are upset. I did hear some guys talking about an 88 cent drink that would normally cost just 88 cents. With the tax, it was 136. The tax, a big win for Mayor Jim Kenney's administration is expected to bring in more than $90 million in revenue to help fund universal pre-K programs and other city improvements. But Renee Williams disagrees with the tax, which nearly doubled the cost of the two sugary drinks she bought. They could have found a better way um, to find money to fund the schools. I don't think the beverage tax will help at all. Others say they don't mind paying a little more for the right reasons. I think that's a good move to help the kids out for the, um, for the schools, things like that. That's a good, worthy cause. It would make me think, ah, oh, man, maybe I don't need to get oversized drinks and things. Yeah, so not a bad idea. It's not the worst tax. And there could be other benefits, too. I think it'll help with the obesity fight. It'll help people lose weight because people don't want to pay all that money just for beverages. I think I'm going to resort back to making my own homemade Kool-Aid or homemade iced teas. It really will affect how many drinks I buy. Now, the tax is levied on distributors, but as you can see, it does trickle down to consumers. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you about another tax that is not sitting so well with customers. But for now, live in Spring Garden, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Anita, we'll see you then. Thank you.